Well, in this pot we've got uh, Tom De Duan raising it up to 2,000. Chris Ferguson's already called. Four to the flop. Mike Madison straight into the action. David Benjamin as well. It's very difficult to. Uh, it's very difficult to run over the great players, but he has a chance to do it. No one's ever done it. Even when I. Well, David Benjamin flopping a straight and a flush draw. He tried. A pair for Madison. Chop pair for Chris Ferguson. We can see that Benjamin only has ace high right now, but he is a favorite against the field to win this pot. Ferguson, of course, a top pair, top kicker. That in a call from Dirt and Chris Ferguson. I'm not saying another word. I love it. Me too. Obviously, Ferguson in the pot. Anytime he's in the pot, the players had better pay attention because he's usually in there with something. Well, that could be a bit of an action card between David Benjamin and Chris Ferguson. Chris in the best shape right now. Of course, Duan will probably get rid of his eights, find a better spot. This is a spot where Benjamin can lose some chips, though. I don't think he's going to go too fast against uh, Chris Ferguson. Once, once Chris has called the bet on the flop, if he calls another bet or makes another bet now, you can be pretty sure your ace with the deuce kicker is not going to be good. And that's a whole lot of $1,000 chips. And it's a $20,000 pot into a $30,000 pot. Is Benjamin getting the odds to call this one? Well, he's got uh, all nine of his hearts. Well, eight because one's gone from uh, Tom Duan plus the three threes. So it's pretty marginal on whether he's actually getting his odds straight away, but maybe he's going to get some implied odds if he actually catches his card. But he's probably thinking there was a chance his ace might be good. I know I probably wouldn't think my ace is good in that spot, but... Uh, Check. I just don't I, I, I'm happy every day. Well, it doesn't make a difference as the inconsequential nine of diamonds hits the river. I've never been broke. I've never once been broke. And you imagine Chris Jesus Ferguson, the 2000 World Series of Poker champion, is going to value bet here. Oh, definitely. So, in like 10 years. And I've never, I don't think, missed a day of poker, so. If you owe a million dollars. And it looks like maybe a $25,000 pot. That's just, I feel like you're not worth the And I think if you're Benjamin, I think it's an easy fold, isn't it? I don't know, that's what we're just talking about. I think so. Uh, I mean, of course, it's $110,000 in the pot. <laughs> and pardon me, it's actually... Well, there's a call here from uh, David Benjamin. He thinks that Chris might be might be bluffing. That's pretty well the only hand he could beat. Well, wow, unbelievable. Unbelievable there. $40,000 bet there from Chris, Chris Ferguson. David Benjamin pays him off. And he is now our big winner. And of course, there is the leaderboard. Chris Ferguson at the top of it, up nearly $150,000. Phil Helmut, you see, up $8,000. The rest of the table is down. Tom Dwan, down $135,000.